Hey, how's it going guys? Today Rockstar released the RC Bandito into Grand Theft Auto Online, as well as 8 new RC Bandito races. The RC Bandito is available on the Southern San Andreas Super Sport site for $1,590,000, so it is quite expensive for a RC toy car. Um, I would say it's expensive than some of the, uh, than more than the muscle cars in this update, which is pretty crazy. So the RC Bandito is quite an interesting vehicle. It's stored only in your arena workshop, so make sure you have an arena workshop. And it's kind of stored on this like toolbox type of thing. I've, I honestly don't remember what they're called off the top of my head. But it it's kind of cool how it's like just sitting there on top of it, just, just chilling. Um, you can modify it right there too with its parts and turn it into some pretty cool customization, including turning it into a gang burrito. And some uh, slam van customization, and some there's some really cool stuff going on here, um, and some really cool builds you can make with it for sure, because it is definitely one of the most unique vehicles we have seen in the game. There's also its own unique set of liveries too, which can make it stand out from other banditos, um, and I like them a lot. I think that each one kind of gives like a cool flair to, to uh, eat the uh, bandito. And, you know, it does make it feel unique for sure. I chose one of these liveries. I forget what it was called, but it was kind of with the orange. I kind of combined it with the black um, build on it to kind of make it look a little clean. Uh, or maybe I put orange. I don't remember, to be honest. Yeah, I put orange. But I kind of made it like an orange and black type of feel to it. I really liked it. This can also be equipped with... EMP and explosives and remote bombs. I can also get a jump upgrade allowing it to jump higher. There's some nice stuff you can do with this vehicle and I am really like it. Now keep in mind if you're wanting to play the RC Bandito races you do not need one of these custom variants. In fact I don't even think there is engine or transmission upgrades at all. So there's even less of a reason to really buy one. There's also some cool wheels you can put on there but honestly they look really goofy. So yeah once again you there's really not a point to buy one if you just want to have an advantage in the RC Bandito races, at least from what I've seen so far. So you can actually equip this in the interaction menu and drive it around in free roam. And uh, it's actually pretty fun. It's one of those vehicles like the import-export ones where it's just kind of you whip it out and it's just kind of a good time. Um, you can see I'm going to jump off this cliff here. and just, it's just It was really fun to use this vehicle around in free roam. I drove around for a bit. It was definitely one of the uh, highlights of... <laughs> some of the newer vehicles because it was definitely just so unique to drive this around because honestly I thought at first that this was going to be locked to only RC Bandita races but no you can drive this around in free mode along with its bombs and all that stuff and it's pretty fun now as for the buyer you know my suggestion to buy this vehicle um yes and no I'm gonna say more yes and no I'm gonna say with the Schlagen it was more of a yes with the uh Tulip, it was more of a no, but I think the RC Bandito is really split down the middle for me. The Bandito is definitely one of the most unique vehicles we have seen in the game ever, and that's a good thing. It's really fun to drive around and go under cars and stuff, especially with this truck I sort of glitched under it. Um, it's definitely very unique and fun to play with this vehicle in free realm. It's just so unique, and it's just it's just fun. But then again, one of the other major problems of this vehicle is its price tag. It's quite expensive, 1.6. If it was like a million and under, then I would say yes. In a heartbeat, if it was a million and under, yes. You know, But since it's 1.6, that could be debatable. So I will say yes, if you have extra money and you want a fun vehicle, go ahead. But if you're tight on cash, just wait until some of the newer vehicles come out in the later weeks. And uh, maybe wait till this goes on sale. But I do recommend it, though. It's a really fun vehicle. If you've got a few million lying around, give it a try. You probably won't be disappointed.